This is the Violent Professional Podcast. Guess who's back? Back again. I forgot the words. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I know. I'm back. It's the only words. Back in Washington. Mike's bro. back. Yeah, we're doing podcasts Hi, now. Hi, Mike. Hello, everybody that's watching. Hello, everybody that's listening. It's been a minute. I understand everybody's upset. I heard all about it. You know, but I've as I've said before, qual- uh, quality over quantity. Cool. Quantity. <laughs> quantity, yes. <laughs> but apparently neither of those are important in this podcast. <laughs> What have you been doing, man? Uh, crying to myself since you weren't here. R- really? No. <clears throat> no, I've okay. been doing work on the house, you know. Cool. Working, working hard. Any water hard. explosions? No water explosions. Didn't you have something God, else that happened? Dude. My fence blew down in a storm. Fucking Again. fences. So that I got pit, a new That fence. pit bull get out and start mauling? Shit. No, they got rid of their dog. Good. Yeah, so it's not, I mean, it's not good when people get rid of dogs. You saw two raccoons they didn't fuck. fuck. We, yes, I did <laughs> see two raccoons just a fucking in a tree. Talk about that. I, the people what? are interested about raccoons fucking. <laughs> they, they have to be. It's an interesting yep. concept. Um, so we're getting a new fence, and the dudes that are building the fence, yes, I didn't build my own fucking fence. And man doesn't have to build you his fence. You do other shit, though. Yeah. <clears throat> so dudes are working on the fence, and I go out there and... You know, Kristen's out there, and we're we're talking to the dude, and he's telling us about something about the fence, and we hear this screeching going on. So Kristen's like, "Yeah, there's some raccoons up there just getting it on." I'm like, "What?" So I hold on, stop talking. I now, did go she see look this. at it or she heard them getting she, it on? She just was like, "Yeah." I'm, she had seen it before I, have, I did. She was already outside. I've seen them so, scream in each so, other's mouths. <laughs> so she <laughs> she was up. Uh, she wasn't up in the tree. She was <laughs> over she was up there. She's like, look, she was fucking. outside talking to the dude already. So I go outside. And that's when I heard the screeching, and she's like, yeah, there's some raccoons over there getting it on. So she had to already go and look. Um, like anybody would do, you know. You hear some screeching like that, you're going to check out what's going on in that tree. Um, I walk over, and I look up, and there's two raccoons just a fucking. just. You know, for me, it's it's fucking. different because I constantly hear screaming inside of my head to where it doesn't phase me when I hear screaming in the yeah, woods randomly. Yeah, this, you know? <laughs> this so. is some, some loud screeches, though. Yeah. You, You'd be you'd be surprised. So let's talk about the girthy size of this raccoon. Well, I didn't see the girthy size of the <laughs> raccoon cock, but I saw the girthy size of the raccoon. What are we fucking talking about now? <laughs> raccoon cock. Um, so up in this tree, there's two raccoons on a branch. It's pretty fucking high up. It's like an oak tree or something. Anyways, they're they're just plugging away, and they look back. <laughs> they're plugging away. <laughs> they're just looking back over their tails like... Somebody's watching us. They're saying, the top one's look just, back at it. Just still hitting it. <laughs> and then I didn't realize this, but like 10 seconds later, I looked to the left a little bit and up higher in the tree, and there's another raccoon on another branch just fucking watching him. Just staring at <laughs> him. He's just staring. It's like, fucking yeah, caught yeah, meat just, gazing. Just fucking get it. You know? Now, would that be referred, the position that they were taking, would that be doggy style? It's raccoon style. Raccoon style. Okay. Because they got to go a little bit to the side to get underneath that tail. They got tail. that fucking tail, a dude. dog can yeah, go so it's straight, like up, straight up on the back. Kind of so raccoon, slanted. Raccoons well, got to go from the side t- and like just do- <laughs> dogs have a tail too. <laughs> yeah, but dogs' tails are smaller and some I, dogs fuck, curl up and their buttholes are always there constantly showing. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's it right there. Raccoons don't coon have, style. <laughs> coons don't have spiral tails. All do right? they hold each other's tails? Like, do the tails interlock? Kind of like uh, that movie Avatar. What if they grab the tail with their little <laughs> raccoon hands and just start to yeah. <laughs> railing? You, like, oh. <laughs> you dude, you look up at the thing, the raccoon's <laughs> screaming in the other one's face that you while he's looking down. He's got one like that and a leg and he's just like He takes the raccoon tail, puts it around his neck, he's just choking himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, just oh. <laughs> asphyxiation. <laughs> that's that's raccoon coon style, is, dude. <laughs> yes, that's coon style. I like it. That would be I mean, a T-shirt. That would be a T-shirt, but I feel like that would might be a bad T-shirt <laughs> if it was coon style. I don't know if it's no. We would, yeah, you couldn't put coon style. Put we we'll, call it coon style. <laughs> I'll make like a a thing where it's like the Gangnam style thing, and he's like this. We'll call it. We'll call it bandit style. Bandit, nah. I don't We're know. Bandits, right? Yeah, yeah. It'll be something, but that's <laughs> hilarious. Just, Just choking like, and fucking self out. Ah, <laughs> like. Then the next week, you go out there and he's doing it to himself. He's got his like fucking hands and he's just like ah with and his own tail. This other one's still watching, <laughs> just in another tree. Oh, oh yeah. That one's just a fixed up there. He's just like, this is my born. home. I love all of this action. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Yeah, coon style. 
That same day, I went into the backyard. I was pulling some old fence posts out along a, a different fence line. And there's this huge deer sitting in the yard next to me. And I, at first, I looked up like, well, they got a fucking fake deer laying in their yard. Yeah. <laughs> nope. That thing stood up. It was fucking tall. And it reminded me of that weird-ass dream yeah. I had. Any deer but, you see now is yeah, going to be. Yeah. And this, I mean, it was like 10 feet from me. So I'm like, oh, fuck. You're like, the, I doubt. <laughs> I don't have a weapon. <laughs> I doubt many deers around the, like the cities around here. I yeah. doubt they have that velvet that they scrape off and shit. But imagine if you saw that, like oh, just fuck. running down. You're like, ah. <laughs> I'd grab something <laughs> and start swinging. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That looks horrible. It looks like their heads exploded when they're like yeah. scraping that shit All off. fucking blood. And yeah. Just shit hanging Crazy. off. Oh, looks like they gored another de- just yeah, yeah. fight. Yeah. Animals are weird. They are. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> raccoon <laughs> style, bro. <laughs> Speaking of animals, Dogecoin. Good old Doge. Dogecoin. You have man. Dogecoin now, right? I have a little bit of Dogecoin. Four hundred and ninety two yeah. shares, which isn't much. It's not much. It's pocket change. Yeah, but if it goes it's up not to real pocket, if you have four hundred now? <laughs> four hundred and ninety. Something like that. If it goes up, which I don't know if it ever will. It's yeah, it was you, super if hopeful. It, if it Goes to the moon like all these doge. For anybody that's been living well. in a fucking cave, um, the like stock market was crazy for a while with GameStop as the GME, a super worthwhile worthwhile <clears throat> company. GameStop was, um, stock exploded because of Reddit and everybody's freaking out. Yeah, billionaires are losing money, but then the next they're screaming at how like, oh, this is so reckless and like we need to regulate this now, you know, as opposed to before. And then the next day they did the same fucking shit and they made all their billions of dollars later. Yep. That's what they do. Hedge funds. There's so much to the stock market that I don't even know. Like, I didn't even know you could borrow shares from people. It's just because I'm ignorant to the whole fucking thing. I do. I do very. Only if you're a broker. So oh, is got, that how it works? You're gonna be, you got to be a broker. Yeah, I was, you have to have a brokerage. Or a I was hedge saying fund. there's got to be a different, <laughs> like, like the stuff that we could do with, like, Robin Hood or whatever. Like, it's yeah, got to be different for people that actually dude. go to college, yeah. get their fucking whatever business degrees, and then move on to fucking Wall Street, get their, their broker's license. Yep. Well, so there's, there's got to be different fucking they're, things. They're the ones know? that create the programs where they don't even have to hire people to work for them. They just have a program that buys and sells at this point and this yeah. point, you know. It, it's a... It just a robot is doing it for them now. It's <laughs> yeah, because I never insane. thought like if I'm using Robinhood and I drop like a million bucks on say a company and then I like have a bunch of shares or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. it is. You know what I mean? Like if I yeah. had if I had the ability to just go here's a million dollars and fucking get a bunch of shares or whatever. I don't think that would be at the board meetings. You know what I mean? Like no, I, it no, doesn't not. feel <laughs> it doesn't feel real. Like I constantly say it feels fake as shit because yeah. like I've done trading before and i've gotten documents from the fucking companies and whatnot it's like what the fuck is this like <laughs> like i'm not a fucking you gotta like, fucking put your reading board glasses meeting. on and yeah. wear a suit when you get I the, put my monocle on, i can't open this yet i gotta put my, my suit fucking on vest <laughs> monocle and a fucking gotta sit down in a nice environment and start you know yeah in your study <laughs> some classical music <laughs> playing yeah and then read it the screaming sounds of coon style going <laughs> off in the background turn off your coon, ah, your coon ah. style video <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just Chromecast it, dude. No! <laughs> That's fucking epic, dude. There's always these little gems that pop out of these fucking episodes, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, bah! yeah, so, yeah. So like, it never, it never feels like a real fucking thing. Like this whole Dogecoin. Like I'm, I'm not gonna say how. I mean, I got a shit ton of Dogecoin, right? And we, we. But you bought it as a joke. That's we bought. So the whole crypto <laughs> thing is a fucking joke. Yeah. To begin with. And then it just kept going. Like, you even look at the story of the guy that created it. He sold his shit for, like, a Honda Accord or something like that. <laughs> when it was, like, was when we bought it. Yeah. We bought it, in, uh, myself He's like, and, sweet, somebody bought this many shares? I'm going to yeah. go buy a Honda Accord. My, uh, like, myself and one of the OG seven, blessed be the seven, blessed be Jeremy, um, we bought that shit, like, a, a fucking ton of them in 2019 when it was, like, <laughs> Four zero is a fucking a one. Yeah, dude. Of a cent, <laughs> it's yeah. like this. So we bought it because we saw the, you know, with like, you can't day trade through Robinhood, but like we saw it as an opportunity. Like after a week, if it goes up like a fraction of a cent, we've made like four hundred dollars or whatever. Yeah. Never ever fucking expected that it would be what it do what it did the <laughs> other day, and I like woke up and I was like, got a, a bunch of messages from people that all have it, mm-hmm. and they're like, look at the fucking stocks, and I was like, <laughs> holy shit, and I was like. <laughs> I was like, if this keeps going, because it just showed that it was shooting up, I was mm-hmm. like, 
I was like, if this keeps going, I'm fucking saying fuck everything, and I'm gonna buy a paraglider and sail away. Six Honda Accords. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna sell it off for a bunch of Honda Accords. <laughs> um, no, but my idea is if I become a millionaire off this shit, or a billionaire, or any of those fucking heirs, uh, thousandaire, like yeah. you know, specifically if like one day I wake up and I'm like a billionaire on there, I've got to sell it. <laughs> And then half of it now is going to go to fucking uh, taxes, to capital Fuck. gains tax. People aren't thinking about that right yeah. now. That's the fucking tough part. Like, you can scream and cry about administrations all you want, but capital gains are a motherfucker right now. Yep. So it's a shit ton of money, and you basically cut yourself in half. Mm-hmm. And so that I think a lot of people, like, I got a buddy that I just saw in Arizona on, on my last trip, and he he sold some fucking some stocks. And didn't think about it. Didn't didn't take the money out. Yeah. He didn't take the money out because he's he's like he's gone from like a five thousand dollar investment to now he has over a hundred grand in there. And that's Damn. just him putting that in and just doing nice. smart trades. And yeah. he does a lot of day trading too. But it's possible. But to to make those huge gains, it's got to be you got to have millions of dollars in yeah. there and do yeah. it like like for thirty minutes. Yeah, and it's going to just... take you some time to get yeah. up to that point where he's at, as opposed to those million. Those people that drop millions yeah. of bucks and then the next day it pops up and they double yeah. their money. Yeah. So he's been doing it for a few years and then he's got up to that. So it's like if he takes it out, great. But the, his problem and his predicament is that if he takes it out, capital gains tax hits this is the minute you fucking sell that shit. Yep. So he's up all this money, but he can't fucking sell it and he wants to because he wants to buy this other stock. But if he sells it, it doesn't matter. Capital gains tax, that's what you get immediately. Yep. yep. So it's just right off the top. And and so for him, they, they don't take that out. Wouldn't it be like during tax season that he, it would take out, or was it would it just like re, well cut the money right there depending on no what no they don't they don't cut it. It's like let's say you sell your tax and it's yeah. still in your fucking brokerage account, right? Yeah, yeah. That's taxed immediately. So like that is documented on your shit that you made a capital gains, mm-hmm. and it will get on the next tax, like your next tax cycle. So like if it's 2020, you'll owe in 2021 for your $60,000 where you sold that stock, but it's still in your brokerage account. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like you would have, and essentially it's like, even if you reinvest that shit, that's not a loss until you fucking sell it. And so you actually lose it. (laughs) So he essentially to pay this tax bill, he either has to come up with the money himself or pull it out, pull all the money out, but he doesn't want to because whatever. I mean, the dude has like a fucking huge loss too. Which, if if he's not selling that, he would have to sell it, and then that could kind of counteract. But here's the deal with it: you only get to claim three thousand dollars on your taxes. Like, even if you lose a hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars, they'll they'll tax you to oblivion. If you make like fucking millions of dollars, they'll just yeah. go give me half. <laughs> but if you lose like a mil- the same amount, like three thousand dollars, that's all you get. Yep. <laughs> How does that fucking work? I don't know. Fucking all taxation fucking is tax. theft. That's yeah. why all taxation is fucking theft. Sorry for your loss, but still give oh, us man. the millions of fucking. Dollars. And I'm not a tax expert, you know. So don't fucking don't yeah, fucking nobody listen is. to me. Like nobody's a tax expert except the few the people that make the fucking except taxes. Tax experts. Fuck. Em. So yeah, like you know, it's one of those things. Like I'm riding this Dogecoin shit, and I like there was a point where I was like, I'm up a shit ton of money I should just sell it but what if it fucking goes further and I sold it and now I'm just like a thousand air you know (laughs) all that guy has is a Honda Accord (laughs) now I've got a Honda CRV fuck (laughs) so like I made a deal with Jeremy that if one of us fucks up real bad and we sell it and then the other one this is like the stipulation because we went in this together if one of us sells early and we just go fucking broke or we lose our ass or whatever. Like, it's hard to lose our ass when we only did, like, $400 investment. Now it's, like, <laughs> I'm, like, looking at it like, holy fuck, still, even though it's down. But if one of us loses our ass, we're going to give the other one a million bucks. But then I also said, like. If, if it gets that high. Yeah, I also said, like, if I become a multimillionaire off this, I'm going to give all the people I like a million bucks. So. <laughs> in half. Claim you got to cut them in half. Yeah. <laughs> so there's got to, you know, like, I want to be more of a millionaire, so I'm not going to give you half of that shit. <laughs> You know, and then some people that have fucked with me about stocks and in, in the past will not be getting yeah, anything. Getting anything. Get you a giant dildo you can sit on when you're throne of lies. You can sell them shares. <laughs> you can you can buy yeah. one share. Trade me that Bitcoin, bro. <laughs> Do 
Dogecoin, dude. It's fucking, um, it's exciting, but it's, I think it's, I don't, I think it's just this never ending so, rat it's race. It's so volatile is what it is. Yeah. I've watched just it, fucking... I've watched it do the same, I'm playing with stuff now. I've watched it do the same fucking thing. You know, mm-hmm. it kind of levels out. It does these hills. Yeah. So if you look at the trends of it, it's doing this step thing and it's kind of still settling out right there. Although right now it's on the downslide. Mm-hmm. But it tends it's to like, happen every week. It by the end of the week, it starts going yeah. down, and then the new week pops right back up. Yeah. And what's cool about the the cryptocurrency stuff is it it's constant. It's going through the weekend, after hours, all that stuff. Whereas most of those stocks are deadlining, and then it either drops or fucking climbs. Yeah. The next day. I've got another app, Coinbase, and that's just strictly with crypto. Mm-hmm. It doesn't do all of them, but there's like some other shit that I've invested. In. I made some money off of that, but you know. It's uh, I want the Dogecoin to just fucking blow up. That would be dope. Yeah. And I don't know what my sell point is. Like, and it's so funny because it's not, what it, it's not real money. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> People are just buying into it. Like I don't own that shit. <laughs> no, there's nothing tangible yeah. out of it. You just the other thing the the Coinbase it's an idea. One, you you own you fucking own it. Think. <laughs> It's. I think it's different for people that like mine the shit. Yeah, you know what I yep. mean. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know. It's like fucking. It's wizard programs that just put. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> they're actually out there just fucking mining. Yeah. <laughs> there, so like, there's a bunch of YouTube videos like explaining what each currency is because they're all different and yeah. they're all like computer programs and shit. And I'm just like, I'm trying to it's listen to it. Fucking Matrix, dude. There's this one dude it's that has, money. has this fucking. Yeah, it'd be great if it was just credits, <laughs> right? Um. There's this one dude that does the same thing. He has the same intro, and he does these m- videos that are three minutes and explains what each one is. And he has, he reads a script on each one. He goes, Dogecoin is this. And he just fucking says it. It's the same tone of voice for every single one. Mm-hmm. He's wearing the same shirt. He's wearing the, he's in the same background, and he's just very like. Probably made them all in the same day. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Dogecoin started off as an internet meme. It was a joke. <laughs> but on, he says like. For no reason whatsoever, it just exploded the other day. (laughs) And he explains, like, like I got Stellar Lumens is one of the ones, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? And it's like... Did you actually buy it? Yeah, but I made money (laughs) off of it. That's awesome. I bought it because I was looking at all of them, and I'm trying to get into crypto because I feel like... Money eventually will go away. I mean, it's already... You've got a credit card. Value less right now. I mean... For the... For, like, open border shit, which they're trying to push real hard. If that goes, it'll be crypto. You know what I mean? Like, an international currency, they've been talking about it for years, you know? Look at how, like, the democratic process works and what they try to do all the time. And so it feels like there's going to be crypto. And eventually, like, fucking euros and dollar bills and ruples and fucking rubies (laughs) and whatever the fuck else. Croissants. How you pay for fucking... pull, pull bread out of your fucking wallet. You know what I mean? Because it is, it is kind of weird. Like every country or area has currency. And yeah, it's like you got to go exchange it anyway. Yep. So, and I'm not a, I'm not big on finance or whatever. Like, I'm not in, into economics. You know, I'm just, I'm, you know. It's crazy how like gold and silver, right? Precious metals is internationally known. And you can create a currency off of that. People will buy same value, right? You know, it should. So here's the thing, though: gold and silver are dependent on the market. Okay. So if the if the price of gold fucking drops, your gold's not worth much. Yeah. Which is insane to me because it's a precious metal and people want it. Just because the market drops, doesn't mean that the, it should be worth any less. You know, it does. I just don't understand that part. But well, everything. If- Everything is a perceived value. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like this, so why did, this uh, why weird does... fucking strawberry kiss bang that you got. <laughs> Are you going to drink that? No, this is for you, dude. I'll Delish smash that one, too. Kiss. Look at real amps. Fucking amp up. Bro. Um, this is this is Valentine's Day drink right here. <laughs> they've gone too far. There are a million flavors. You know, there's a, a, a thing in, in sales where it's, um, and I can't remember so exactly what it's called. You saturate the market with it? No, it's... um. Where, like, when I was, you know, like, with my other shit selling stuff, it's like, you don't want to have 500 colors on one thing. You want to have max three, right? Yeah. Because people, they look at it, and they'll go, like, holy fuck, there's so much to choose from. And then they just go, fuck it, and then they get out of there. It's like, it's, um, I can't remember, it's um, something overwhelming, 
whatever, whatever that thing. Maybe you know if you're in the you, if you're listening and fucking <laughs> type in the sensory comments, overload, but, man. Yeah, so like that, it's kind of like bang now. It's like they have a million flavors. Yeah, of this I, shit. I went to the case. I'm looking through. I'm like, fuck, which one does he want? Ah, and I just grabbed one. You could have a million fucking woody girls just dancing out there and pushing all this fucking these drugs that you want, but eventually <laughs> you're like, I don't know which heroin to take. Like yeah yeah I don't know, know which I mean? one's the best now. Fuck it, I'm gonna go get a different one because they've got three flavors and it's pretty standard. You know? Yeah yeah. Anyway, I don't know what we, how we got on that. I saw that or something like that. We were talking about Dogecoin gold and, and it? gold and silver. Yeah. Well uh, yeah, so everything is perceived value. It's like a company is worth something. Yeah. Stocks are bullshit. You're investing. You're giving yep. money, and the stock price go up because you think that the thing because is you have worth interest. It. Like in it being worth more than it is. Yeah, yeah. money is. Essentially, pieces of paper. It's not worth more. It's not like yeah. a five dollar bill isn't actually worth five dollars. It's yeah. like however much it took to make that shit. But even Except that for back in the day when it was backed by gold. Yeah, but even gold bad. and silver are rocks from the fucking ground, yes. and that's like how much value is that? What if we get this cool kryptonite shit that comes to the fucking planet <laughs> Earth? Is that gonna be more valuable? It has to be. It's yeah, it's <laughs> more, more scarce. But people are weird with that. It's like anyway. Yeah, so gold and silver. Space, We're back. space coins, dude. <laughs> Let's make one. Call it space coin. <laughs> you got to, so what How I know you about. fucking make one? How does that happen? You got to build a, now somebody listening to this is going to make space coins. Fuck. <laughs> there, I'll show you. Let me let me pull it up right now. How many fucking different coins pull there are? Pull that shit up, Mike. And you're like, what the? Because you think Bitcoin, Dogecoin, all yeah, these fucking I, shit. I feel like there's five. <laughs> There's a fucking million. They're all computer programs, and I, I still don't understand how that, that shit works. That doesn't make any sense to me, dude. Oh, sorry, I'm not a nerd. Hopefully, you didn't see my password. No. <laughs> nah, we're no, good. good. Let's go to the fucking. I'm on Coinbase, and I'm just gonna go through fucking whatever. Isn't there ones that are, they're like urethra or <laughs> urethra, <laughs> <laughs> Ethereum, or whatever the Ethereum, fuck they call yeah. it? Dude, what the... F- like, look. Look at this shit. Just scroll your fucking... That's the list that... Oh, there's Ethereum right there. Fucking worth a lot of Ethereum. money. God damn it. I have Ethereum. Tether. Polka dot. Tether. What the fuck is Tether? Binance coin. <laughs> Litecoin. Oh, they get worse. There's a lot Chain of weird... link. Stellar Lumens. That's what bro. I have. I got money on that, dude. Stellar Lumens. Ripple. Wrapped Bitcoin. Is that different than regular Bitcoin? So uh, crypto splits. I, I'm not sure on like wrapped Bitcoin, but it's like Tezos. Ethereum Ethereum, and Ethereum Classic. It happened because they're like a hacker or something got in there and they had to split it so that- Oh, shit. Because they stole a bunch of money from, out of, from people. Gotcha. And so they had to split it so all the money came back. And however that works, I don't know. But now they have Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Who OB token- <laughs> God damn There's it, some dude. good ones on there. Some cool. Elrond. That's a fun, <laughs> That's from Lord of the Rings, dude. <laughs> Lord Elrond. <laughs> it's a currency. <laughs> Give me some of that sushi swap, bro. Is that sushi? Sushi, sushi swap. swap. Sushi, that's delicious corn. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm going to go get a Mexico City roll after this. Pancake swap. I want to get some sushi swap and some pancake swap. Oh, pancakes. Man. They're good. Fucking try to have them every Saturday, man. Hetero hash graph. <laughs> Hetero hash graph. Thor chain. Give Fuck some, yeah. Give me some loop ring. That just. <laughs> <laughs> man, I got some loop ring the other day. I got a serious case of loop ring, bro. <laughs> <laughs> some Swiss Borg. Nice. Swiss Borg sounds like some sort of sexual position when you're like got a fucking Dude, ball in your mouth. Dude, I was doing the Swiss Borg on her the other day. Fucking Swiss Borg. Horizon. Nano. Basic attention token. <laughs> oh my god, network. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, network. But people are buying the shit. It's up five percent today. Fucking insane to me. Yeah. So uh, the ones I have, I got. Like even S- even Dogecoin, how it started, you know, it, as a meme, as something fake, and people buy into it, just because. So it creates value out of nothing. Which that's what I'm saying. So there's dude. nothing backing it, but it's it's worth. A certain amount to to people now. I, I, <laughs> it's nonsense. Crazy. Crazy. But it makes you think about other shit. Hey, you want to buy this air? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Air coin, dude. Air coin. Which coin were we going to come up with? Space coin. Space coin. I'm going to make a fucking thing <laughs> over that. We need to write some down and just see about air coin. creating coin. Well, <laughs> what I do know after, like, looking for this phone. Um, 
It's in the recording. I'll listen to this and edit it. I'll hear it. There you go. I always re- edit the episode. I just do the the thing where the six steps I have, and then I'll like upload it and listen to it as I'm driving around. Well, or you're going to have like to make some coon coin. <laughs> oh, dude. I make all the coins. All the coins. They're like computer programs. Yeah. They're just fucking, and they do so, shit. So why can't, I mean, I'm sure people do this, but just continuously make new fucking I think, coins. I think the, what it is is like they're networks that you can buy shit on, and so they create their own currency within those computer programs that you use as the main thing, and you dump money into it. It's kind of like how kids play video games and they pay for, like, fucking Fortnite coins yeah. and shit. gotcha. It's kind of like that, like Fortnite. N- Fortnite. Fortnite. That could be its own currency, and it yeah. essentially it yeah. is because okay. you're buying digital shit in there. Yeah, that makes sense. And the only difference is, like, they're not on a fucking, on, like, a, a server somewhere where they're, like, you're able to buy it just like that. Yeah. It's like your right. Microsoft coins yeah. and all that and shit. And I can see that, like, there are so many coins that it was, like, from what I knew, it was just Bitcoin initially that started all this. Those coins split, and they make their own fucking coins, their, uh, whatever. <laughs> it's gobbledygook, <laughs> god damn it. It's insane. So, yeah, we could make space coin, but we got to get, we got to make computer programs, and I ain't yeah, got, I'm, I ain't got time for that, bro. No. Maybe so, somebody else does. If, if, like, give us, like, we gave you the idea Make fucking coon coin, <laughs> um, space coin, and and what else? Air coin. Those are the three that will be in our fucking uh, digital crypto wallets, and you just give us a fucking bunch of shares. I'll take 100,000 shares of that, yeah. please. Yeah. Just right give up, us right each 100,000 shares, whoever's yeah. out there. <laughs> that would be dope if somebody's listening could make crypto. Hell yeah. It's just got to go awesome. up a dollar. It'll be good. I like it. So, yeah. Crypto. What else are you invested in, dude? Uh, Our friendship? I have. <laughs> are you invested in that? No, totally. Brought you some bangs, dude. Yeah, I brought, you did. brought you a strawberry kiss bang. <laughs> um, that sends a different signal. <laughs> I, I mean, I have some shares of like cytosorbents and like some medical what stuff. What is that? It's like um, medical based stuff for cleaning solutions and um, antibiotics. You know, weird shit like that. Just, I was like, eh, you know, coronavirus, may as well dump some money into something that's going to jump a little bit. You, you know? mean you're pro-vaccine? You're not an no, anti-vaxxer? No, not, not at all. This has nothing to do with <laughs> vaccines. It's about the cleaning supplies for the hospitals and stuff. So they're using a lot of them right oh, now. Oh, antibacterial. So it's, yeah, I'm, so it's I'm totally, totally. Uh, has nothing to do with what I was has talking Has nothing about. to do with the fact. Va- they're not injecting that shit. So <laughs> I mean, the former president would say <laughs> that. Yeah. That's a joke. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> But I have that, and then I have some uh, – some. what did I have? <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head, right? I I do have some Boeing because that was really low. Yeah. Like last month, so I bought a little bit of Boeing, and then it went right back up. So I got some some gains on that. Um, I have Wipro. Wipro, that's another cleaning solutions one. And then I have one that's going to gain me some uh, – some money back. You got mute. You got a uh, dividend yielding yes, fund. Yes, Aries Capital. Fuck yeah, really funny. Aries Capital, and it has one of the highest ones. What do they? That I could what find. do they do? It was like seventeen percent. So, uh, and it's climbing right now, so it's going up, which is cool. Aries Capital. It Aries sounds like Capital. something. I it's would a make. financial firm, so probably one of those fucking hedge funds that's <laughs> just dumping people. I mean, but, I hey, I invest in those they're too. Giving me money out of it. I'm right. I'm, uh, I'm pumping <laughs> cash into these. Mutual, they're uh, not mutual fund things. I've, I've got one of those, but um, dividend yielding stocks yeah. so that I get paid in every, and it just reinvests in every month that just money coming back. It's passive income. That's cool. And regardless if it's up or down, you just hold for fucking ever and they'll pay out a hundred years. Yeah. You know, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's mm-hmm. a good idea. That's, that's why I got Don't some Don't be errors. broke ass bitches. And it was, when I was looking through there to find it, it, that's just happened to be one that popped up when I was looking through the A's and I was like, that one's a pretty high yielding one. Yeah, I'll just buy some of that. Not knowing it was Aries Capital until I clicked on it. I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's coincidental. I've got a little cool, spreadsheet though. I could show you later. You know, I'm big on those spreadsheets. I got <laughs> one that actually analyzes like you punch in what the value is, the dividends per year, mm-hmm. and then fucking um, how much money you have, and it tells you what you can buy and what your yield nice. will be. I'll fucking that's show. Cool. I'll send it to you, or I'll show it to you later. Yeah, but oh, I yeah. I do like a top ten of analysts analysts of uh 10 different stocks and then it it presents i'm fucking super weird with excel spreadsheets i can do all <laughs> kinds of magic but um 
like it'll take those after I punch all that stuff in and it'll rank it. Like this is the one that's going to give you the most at this particular nice. time based on the current information at hand. That's cool. Bunch of fucking nerds. Fucking nerd. Oh. <laughs> fucking nerds. <laughs> um, you know who else is a nerd? That's a segue. Bill Gates, bro. Bill, oh, fuck. Tell me about what you told fuck me. Bill Gates, dude. <laughs> he wants us all to get our fucking, he wants us all to get nip tucked and so listen, fucking listen. I need, I need that fucking, pull our sacks that back thing and, on, on the wall behind me where I'm pointing at all the f- spider web shit and my fucking hair's a mess. I'll just put it up. <laughs> the, the Charlie Day <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, so Bill Gates, we found out over the past couple months, Bill Gates has bought up a whole lot of farmland throughout the U.S. He's now the largest farmland owner Are you fucking in the United serious? States. Okay. He bought a lot of land in eastern Washington. He's growing too, vaccines there. Right. So what the fuck does Bill Gates want with farmland, right, to grow food, right? Is that either to send overseas, like he always talks about his philanthropy stuff, right, or is it for something else? Today, dun, dun, dun. today the motherfucker comes out with, this thing and says rich countries, wealthy countries should switch to synthetic meats and not consume beef. Nah, son. I just not ate some Wagyu beef last night. Not, I, oh first time God. ever. Oh, Wagyu and you can get it down Kobe? Fuck, Dude, you can get it down the road. At Gibson's? Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking going. It's not like the Japanese shit where they're just pumping oh. them full of alcohol all the time. Dude, but... have you had legit Wagyu and, and Kobe beef? No, but <sighs> I had this last night. The the fucking- I'm going to buy you some. The th- fucking- <clears throat> You know, it's it's like the fucking- It's like uh, the American Wagyu type. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking still baller. And I was like, Dude, you can oh cut my that God. shit imagine, with a spoon, bro. I oh imagine- could only imagine- Like, I gave it to Jax last night, yeah. and he was like, oh my God. And he doesn't- It's hard to get him to eat, but he ate the whole f- fucking- piece that i gave yeah, him dude and it, it's like i had it i was succulent. like if this is like the, the marbling the knockoff oh. version of it like yeah. i was gonna send you guys a picture i was like look why are you brows mm-hmm. and but then i was That's like ball i was meat, bro I was, yeah. <laughs> I was uh i was like this isn't even gonna look good because it's not like the shit you see on youtube or yeah. whatever like where it's like just all over the place mm-hmm. it's still good but it was dude i get some expensive meat sometimes like some yeah, you know, some good be a meat shit. connoisseur, you know. You know, I like some, tri some tip is not meats. too expensive. No, not at but all. But I get that, and that was like my favorite, even though it's like yeah, economical. But I was like, I had that last night, and I'm I'm never getting anything else. Like, Dude. and if I go, if I get fucking actual legit, because you you like, it's not like I was like, this is the 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 genuine fucking wagyu. Mm-hmm. It's so clear it's not. There's a but place it's up amazing. in Seattle that I go to to get my wagyu. You right? have it up there? Yes. So next time I go up there, which who who the fuck knows when I'm going up there? Yeah. I'll get you some, and we'll cook it and we'll fucking eat it because I oh I can cook. some. David was talking Ooh. about doing a fucking abandoned place shit here, right? Like were we talking about when we were, I think we were talking so. about road trip stuff? Yeah. Oh, we can hit it. We Why don't we just shop, go do bro? that one day? Let's fucking do it. I'm down. Like within the next four weeks, let's, let's fucking fuck, go yeah. up, go up there and yeah. mass the fuck up. And, I like it. I like it. We'll walk up in there and buy some Wagyu, bring it back, yeah. cook it up with a little bit of butter and some herbs. It's Man. weird. It, like, I've been on this kick lately. Like, I used to, as I was coming up and becoming an adult and on my own, <laughs> stuff like that, you just- You switch you from chicken of, nuggets to steaks. Yeah, dude. You <laughs> kind of buy, like, just the shit food. Like, we've been yeah. talking to David about, like, get like paying for the $10 carton of eggs because it makes yeah, absolutely. a world of difference. And it, and it absolutely does, but you well, don't it's think It's like that. buying butter. You know, you used to get yeah. the country crock fucking margarine. You're, that's all you knew. Yeah. And then come country and find cock. out there's some fucking, <laughs> there's like some legit like churned butter, hand churned fucking goodness out there that you're just like, wow, this is way yeah. different. It's not what fucking if, oil going into yeah. my body. I just thought of country cock and it's like some dude jerking off into a fucking tub. <laughs> and he's just like. It's just the same container. It's just got yeah. to do cow hand churn, hand churn butter. It's like he's riding, <laughs> he's, you know, he's riding a bull, but he's just grabbing his dong instead, <laughs> just just sque- just squeezing it off <laughs> into the fucking bucket, just like no, oh. just bleh. just oh yeah, dude. I can't believe it's not nutter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, perfect. Classic podcast. Man, <laughs> we're coming out with bangers on this. Bangers, one. bro. Bang- I just bought some bangers. bangers. Have you ever had have you ever had bangers? What's a banger? It's a little sausage. It's a little fucking sausage. Oh, makes Irish sense. sausage. No. I went to Costco. I was looking around for I was like, man, I I want to make something different. I haven't tried yet. What the fuck is a banger? So I picked up the package, a bunch of little sausages. It came with five hundred of them. Well, I mean, there's like 
maybe 20 or 30 <laughs> in there. But yeah, Are significant they amount. They're, I haven't eaten them yet. They're in my fridge, so I got to cook them. We should but get like, like a hot pork, plate here one time like, and just have sizzle, sizzle <laughs> the whole just time. Cooking, <laughs> cooking some, hey, we got these bangers, bro. <laughs> just cooking up these bangers. Uh, but What's I mean, that I've sizzling, heard, you I've might of, say? I've heard of people eating like bangers and mash for like, you know, an Irish celebration for. Is that, you know. I thought it was something else. No, these little fucking bangers. Little, they're like pork sausages with cornmeal or some weird shit in them. Okay. So they just they're just little fat little nubs. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So would you I'm eat it? Try if Bill Gates was responsible for that banger. Well, his if, his corn these bangers would be the they wouldn't have any meat at all in them if they were oh, back to fucking Bill Gates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> motherfucker. Trailing sorry. Off, started talking about dudes <laughs> jerking off in a bucket so, to make country <laughs> cock. So Bill Gates says. Rich countries such as the United States that sw- should switch to synthetic beef, right? Fuck you, first of all, Bill Gates. Um, yeah, I'm not. That's why I started talking about because I'm like, I'm not going back after tasting why you. <laughs> no, no. Like if it was just like some shitty fucking like you cook this steak, it turns gray, and you're yeah, just like, dude, ah, like I might eat that to, vegetable uh, fucking burger. This bro. motherfucker says, oh, they'll get used to the taste. They'll get used to it. This synthetic. You beef. shouldn't have to get no, used to it. No, you should do whatever the fuck you want. Kill a fucking cow <laughs> and eat that shit. You know what I yeah. mean? Cook it medium rare. Whatever the fuck you want. To- so what? So what's the deal? So we get because of the it, he. I'll let you continue on that, but it's like the he's about population control, which is a super sociopathic type of fucking Absolutely. way to think it. Like we need to bring the population down. Yeah. I get it. Maybe we should talk about contraception or some shit. Like people yes. shouldn't fucking yes. have babies all the time. Like we're talking about like we could go off on a whole another yeah, tangent on I mean, abortion whatever. and stuff, but that's part of it, you know. But and it's it's like so okay, now we're talking about just you because cows are like a greenhouse gas producer, mm-hmm. right? We're talking about like getting rid of them now. Let's fucking just get rid of them because right? we shouldn't be eating them. Is it is it that or is it is it the consumption that's a pro? I don't know. You know, is that creating health health issues for people? Like, where's the science behind it? Yeah, is it, I'm not, if it happens, there is way. no science behind it. You know what the fuck this guy's doing? He's trying to transition from that uh, beef based mentality of the excuse me of the alpha male, switching over to this synthetic based meat where they're three D printing well, shit. It, well, probably because he wants everybody to look like him. Like he's a fucking yeah, sixty yeah. year old lesbian. Exactly. Exactly. He looks like but, a but besides that, <laughs> by switching to the synthetic stuff, he can put whatever the fuck he wants in it, right? Mm, puts microchips. <laughs> Which leads to, excuse me, it's part of is a plant-based meat, right? Plant-based products are big right now, and yeah. they're only growing. Impossible Burger, all that bullshit from all those. Dude, fast they push food it chains. so hard, they cannot be selling it. There's not every every they have company it every has fucking... it now. It's it's at fucking Starbucks now for their breakfast sandwiches. You're like, what? The, I don't want an Impossible yeah, but, sandwich from. I mean, it's just it's just like society controls the way yeah. the world is. Like you go back to the fucking hundred years ago, every, like there was like racism was accepted. Like yeah. society dictates the norms Ex- and absolutely you're not going to, unless you fucking pump everybody full of fucking ma- Cause even if you eat soybeans, you're not going to just start sprouting fucking tits. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you got to eat a fucking ton. And that's really the only way to get people fucking in that mindset of like, Oh, this is acceptable now. Yeah. But y- you have a good fucking steak, dude. There's nothing. There is oh, fucking nothing better than oh, that. Oh yeah. Like you, you have a good enough steak, enough I'm fresh. Not, like I'm you not just fucking sorry at all. Vegan. You just fucking freshly <laughs> chopped off a butt cheek of a fucking oh, like one of those steroided out cows. <clears throat> you you instantly get hard and shoot goo in your pants, dude. Just you like make that, that country, country cock, cock, dude. <laughs> You're making that country <laughs> cock, man. <laughs> so, plant based products, right? Yeah. Bill Gates owns. What now? Majority of the farmland in the fucking the U.S. So if we're switching over this, he's convincing people to switch over to this plant-based product, which he now controls all this fucking farmland. It's just lying in his fucking shiny pockets. You know what I mean? Even though he's philanthropical and gives money to this and this, they're all his fucking foundations. He's still making the money off of it's, it. It's it's a weird thing to think, though, and I've had this question. Full it's fucking like, circle. How much money is enough? You know what I mean? Like, because uh, obviously none. You power. If you can just create your own, it gives you power. <laughs> and also, is like, is it that they want more money, or is that just a byproduct of them manipulating the money, and the money tricking a, people? Into the money doing is a byproduct shit. of their power. So the yeah. more powerful you become, the more rich you become, no matter what, no matter what. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't work the other way around. 
you have to become you have to make your your name before you make money. It's weird. It's a, it's a different level of thinking because like I never want to tell anybody what to do. I don't want anything to do with anybody. Mm-hmm. I just want like you mind your business you and leave me out of your fuck. business. Yeah. That's what I've been saying. Give me That's a like, castle in the woods on a mountain yeah. and fucking leave. And everybody's home. different. There's some people that are fucking truly want to control everything. Yeah, because they think you know I mean? that they're sociopaths and they think they're doing good for they. I am doing good by doing this. Yeah, and the, like when it's it, fucking I've, people are dying and shit. I've thought oh. that before. It's like there are people, and I don't think I don't. There's some people that are just fucking evil fucks, right? Yeah, but I don't think that. Not all. I don't. Really. I don't. I don't think that like these people that do this think they're evil, and I think yeah. it's just as simple as they think that the more money they have, the more power they get, the more they can help society. But it's like, but it's from your viewpoint. It's not. That's not how everybody thinks. Yeah. Which is why, like, I don't. Why utopian societies in literature and have been tried in the past never yeah. succeed. They always become dystopia exactly. because there's so much. Even in these controlled societies. Look at what happens to dictators that try to control and stuff. And, like, obviously that's a different discussion, but it's, like, people are so fucking different in their ideology and the way they think that it's impossible to get everybody on the same page unless you fucking make their brains and in the same fucking way of thinking yep. and you lobotomize everybody. And that's, that's the fucking goal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You know, I've been off social media like we were talking about. Yeah. And I'm extremely happy. My, my oh, th- outlook on life, I'm fucking cheery all the that's time. That's how it should be. You know, fucking get rid of it all. I've been putting on fucking nineties rock hits, these epic ballads, <laughs> just jamming out. You know, yeah, uh, meatloaf. I'm putting that on and singing <laughs> fucking. I would do anything for love, like at the top of my fucking lungs. But I won't do that. <laughs> and I think you know everybody's like, what would he? Wouldn't he do? No one knows. You got to listen to the whole song, but it's five <laughs> minutes long until you hear what he won't do. He's not gonna cheat on his woman. That's what it is. I've discovered it. No one even fucking, because it's five (laughs) minutes long and you think it's going to stop and it never does. And it goes, and you think it's, it's teetering off. It's like the, the end is coming. It's like, dude, and he goes, but I won't do that. And he's like, just continues. And and then it picks up slowly. (laughs) Go listen to that song. Yeah. I've been rocking out to it. That's cool. Uh, What else about fucking Bill Gates? Did we even get anywhere with crazy. it? Or then he's yeah, fucking he's going trying to pump he, people. He's pumping his own, lining his own pockets, but also trying to control people at the same time. It's like, I, I can't, there's no analogy for it, dude. He is his own, just, it's fucking insane to me. And the other question that I'm going to present now, is he at the top of whatever is Who knows, he the last dude? stop? Who fucking knows? Is somebody controlling him? Yeah, is this is this part of that Bilderberg society bullshit? I mean, like some conspiracy theory, you know, all like all the rich people are in, but or it just could be this crazy dude is just trying, just wants to. You know, there's a bunch of fucking billionaires pockets. that are behind the scenes that do shit, right? Oh, like, absolutely. They, they yeah. say there's certain people that do stuff, but is there anybody at the top? Like, is there a fucking is master a, spider or something? Yeah, is shit? there an, a, an emperor, you know? <laughs> it's a Who giant knows? raccoon jerking off and telling people his commands, Wills. <laughs> the uh, great spider. <laughs> Is there a great spider controlling the world, dude? Aliens are here, right? What if it's an alien and they're just doing it? It's coming from the inner, inner core, oh, the hollow man. earth. <laughs> the hollow Spiracy earth. Conspiracy theory tangent now? We'll go in through Antarctica and get into hollow earth with the dinosaurs. That's where they all went. And then the, in the center of that is one throne, and the Crimson King from Stephen King's universe is sitting up top a throne, and he's dictating what happens. You know, people are riding Tyrannosaurus back <laughs> and sending his decrees. I like it. You know, I just don't. I just don't know. Like, what's the, what's the? Where is the end? In it's, the other dimension. Yeah. <laughs> To go through portals. And Have shit, you looked right? at speaking of dimensions? I've been talking about aliens a lot, and I look back at some of the episode titles. There's alien, like my dad, the alien, yeah. like <laughs> fucking a bunch yep. of other alien titles. I've been talking about it lately. Obviously, it's a thing. But have you looked at any of the the uh, black vault files? From the CIA and I the think fucking, I, yes, yes, it's gobbledygook too. Oh, like man. there's like there's yeah, some somebody weird... reported shit, and it's like there's so many of them. The last I checked, it was like. People were just trying to label what the, yeah. each file was called. It was like fucking four weeks before they had labels well, you, on. All, all the all the reports are going to be in there. Like, oh, sighting of this, sighting and identi- UFO, yeah. unidentified flying object. It could be a fucking balloon. Who, who yeah, the fuck yeah. knows? It's just unidentified. 
it's it when it turns into weird shit is when they have it on video and that's the ones that go viral and all or the ones you never see you know you know people will like in the specifically in the the southwest there's a lot of bombing ranges yeah and they're they're really next to highways like there's a lot of places that you don't know there's like a gate you can turn off and mm-hmm. you just you could go in there and there's nobody watching it, and it's just a bombing range. You know, it's like um, yeah, you can see it on Google Maps too. <laughs> yeah, like Area 51. It's got just basically a fence, but there's a lot of security, like sound uh, detection and shit like that. So it's impossible yeah. to get anywhere near uh, the places in there. Um, but like down there, seismographs and shit in New Mexico and places like where there's a bunch of desert. There's a lot of bombing ranges that are right next to highways you could look you could walk over there there's no fence or anything mm-hmm. um there's like single entry points and shit but you just fucking pop that shit you know and go in but there's i'm not telling anybody to do that just fucking <laughs> don't do but it but what people re- will report is that there's um they'll see flares yeah from airplanes that are putting out this illumination for mm-hmm. night vision or whatever. Yeah. But they'll see... That happens over in Esqually all the time, too. Yeah. So, like, um, like the military has the artillery that puts out flares. It's yep. for the ground troops to be able to see better when there's yeah. no illume from the stars or the fucking moon, exactly, right? Yeah. Um, and those hover because they're, like, however they're designed, yeah, they I won't get into it, but they, they're they just yeah. hanging there. So, like, you'll see all of a sudden, like, boop, 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 and those get reported up yep. as UFOs because to anybody that doesn't understand that... They think it is, so I think yeah. there's a lot oh of the, yeah. There's a lot of reports that ju- are are in there that are just like, well, that's fucking simple. I've yeah, there's used, some training shit going you know? on. Oh, they said there's training going on. Three lights showed <laughs> up and it was fucking there and it was God. It's because they burned out, you dumb fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, that yeah, I've seen a bunch of those over in a squall, and I'm at first when I saw, it, I'm like, oh, what yeah, the fuck is that? It's shocking. Dude. And then and then I watch it, I'm like, oh, that's a fucking flare. All right, cool. <laughs> And that's always when I'm like going to work in the middle of the night. It just shows up, and you're like, "Whoa!" Yeah, well, what the fuck? And then there's some other shit that. How do we get on aliens? Is it my brain doing something? Because Bill Gates reports to the aliens. Oh, the other dimension <laughs> with Hollow Earth and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want that to. I want something, man. I, I yeah. Knew this it. thing is in the middle of the fucking Earth, and he's just he's got everybody it's worshiping hungry. him, man. Like I, I said it before. I was like, I think it's just gonna be all this gobbledygook redacted bullshit that's mm-hmm. in there and there's going to be some shit in there that you can figure out if you piece some of it together but yeah. it's like they're like the the CIA is going to release all this shit you know but they've been releasing shit for a while yeah, they've been releasing it but it's like they it, there's still secrecy like it doesn't matter how much you do a freedom of information act they don't have to give redact, anything redact, redact. the fucking <laughs> law is one thing oh the law says this and they're going to declassify stuff but guess what happened with the JFK files it's blacked out blacked out blacked out you know what I mean? Like, yep. oh, we released all of it. Here you go. It's like this is what this is the report <laughs> we wrote. You can't see this. This is the report we wrote. Just because this is what we wrote, but it doesn't mean the rest of the shit that's out there. Yeah. So like the space program, the UFO shit. That's like super secret. You think they're just gonna say like, oh man, some <laughs> fuck they re- they put a Freedom of Information Act in. Uh, God fuck. damn it! A whole thing's wrecked. Let us tell them tell them about zero point energy. <laughs> fuck. You know what I mean? Like, yep. So. Unfortunately, we're probably show them the thing. We're probably not going to hear anything if it even exists, you know. Well, especially now. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Rolling back prices, Fuck. dude. <laughs> it's like Walmart Fuck. up in this bitch. It's a fucking executive order of fucking Man. Walmart, dude. <laughs> when the executive order went into to shut down the pipeline, that what's that shit you you off, uh, posted about insulin? The prices went up. Yeah, dude, prices of insulin and jumped up like tenfold. You dude. know what else is probably jumping up? But I don't know. I didn't look it up. But if insulin is going up, the fucking epinephrine pens for yep. fucking people with a, you, bee so, allergies. So I don't mean to sound like I'm jumping on the Trump dick, but dude, he signed these executive orders, which should have been done through, you know legislation which dropped all these medical prices and these medical um producers were putting out how much it cost to make it because of that executive order and biden was like ah fuck that throw that one out i'm gonna yeah. write my own that says nope so they don't have to do this shit again so it, yeah. it's just disappointing it, and it, it, you know signing the executive order to shut down the pipeline that costs thousands of jobs our gas prices here fucking jumped up three dollars a gallon now over three dollars a gallon. Still in the I'm like, south. Dude, what the fuck? In, in the south, it's dirt price. Dirt for now. price. Those for people now. are poor. It's dirt price <laughs> for now. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know who knows how long until they shut down more of yeah. those pipelines. 
I, I mean, I'm sorry, Texas, but you see your fucking wind turbines don't work. Uh, they were produced with oil, and they had to have helicopters up spraying some fucking oil-based shit on yeah. them, using oil for their gas in order to get those things working again to make your electricity. Should have kept. I don't have enough information about this, but there was a scientist uh, doing science things, and he was able to produce fossil fuel, quote unquote fossil fuel, which is a term created by Rockefeller, yeah, to make it seem like it's more rare, right? Yep. Um, but it was able to take organic matter, which is essentially what it is, is like crawfish and shit that is like boiled pressure, and yep. it creates crude oil. If they can create lab diamonds they can create whatever the yeah. fuck they well want. they've already figured it out but it's such small scale it's not production yeah. based it's like uh he was able to do it in a matter of you know it takes millions of years to create crude oil yep. right he did it in like a certain amount of hours millions of years yeah. we have we have no fucking yeah, idea no concept of that how can we measure that time yeah, yeah. but um yeah he was able to do that you, know, you think about all the conspiracy theories and whatnot and things that are out there that you know like you never thought uh, Operation Acoustic Kitty, the cats with fucking... <laughs> it's like all this shit that nobody knows exists, and yeah. there's just, they're just... The CIA is just like, hey, let's try this. It's like, how much is fucking bullshit? Like, it's like, we have a limited supply of crude oil. It's like, well, is is that the case? Is it is it all yeah. bullshit? Fossil fuel that was created by a human being. shale now, just all kinds of yeah. just earth products. I, I just wonder how much is actually fucking true, you know? <clears throat> I just want to live fucking... I just want to live in blissful ignorance. Yeah. I mean, if you're in a cabin in the woods, it, you kind of can. It blows my fucking mind when people are so up on the, on and being an, I, environmentally conscious, like, oh, I can't have this campfire. I can't do this. I can't drive a car that produces its emissions because this volcano over here is going to create 30,000 <laughs> yeah. times the amount I will in my yeah. uh, lifetime or all of us will in our lifetime. And it just went off. And they're going off yeah. every day around the fucking world, around the ring of fire. Like, we should be dead. <laughs> according yeah. according to everybody, we should be fucking dead right now if that was the case because humans are creating all this pollution. How many years have they been saying 12 years? Uh, since like the 60s. Yeah, okay. So we've been dead for a while. We're probably yeah. in limbo. Yeah, we have to be. No wonder it's so fucked. <laughs> so my dad fucked my mom and created a ghost baby is what you're saying. Whoa. <laughs> I'm like ghost dad. Or like, just in a different dimension. Yeah. It's like go- that movie Ghost Dad, except less rapey and Bill Cosby fucking. So it's like it's people. like Sixth Sense mixed with Ghost Dad. So we're you, Ghost you Baby. Think, you think that you're like living your normal life, but it's <laughs> but you're really a ghost. I'm in. You can do the weird Dogecoin. Shit. I'm in a program. <laughs> you're a Dogecoin miner. That's your job. <laughs> yeah. Much wow. <laughs> Just fucking dog face. <laughs> I am Dogecoin. <laughs> the Oh man, <clears throat> it's got to be a silver lining to it all. You don't. No, we're not. Too, you, <laughs> you, you, I control the podcast. <laughs> I control this shit, dude. <laughs> well, we could do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the fucking last part where we uh, watch the court case and just kind of like up. it. You know, we're trying different <laughs> things here. Silver line is, dude. Like um, this, you know. People have different, different, a uh, different, different impressions of me. I think from not knowing me personally, you oh, know, that would be everybody's conception. Exactly, not con- conception. Everybody's con- contraception. <laughs> Ghost baby. <laughs> no, you know, like when I was running Aries, like with the, they thought I was the biggest fucking asshole piece of shit ever are you sure just they like, thought that yeah, <laughs> or are you just kind of true. thinking that of yourself no, i think that of myself so my <laughs> contraception of myself <laughs> is that i thought that no but i've had plenty of people that have met me like out They're there like, oh i thought you were like, a fucking tool i thought you were completely different like <laughs> um where was i going I was, we, silver lining silver lining so and i don't know why i started talking about that i don't either you're going somewhere with it. Oh, okay. Going. So, like, people <laughs> perceive, I think some perception of me is that I'm super negative a lot of times because I, I used to be just, just ranting. you know, a certain period of my life, a lot of bad shit was going on yeah. and I was super Happens negative. Happens to the best of yeah. us and the worst. And of it's us. hard to stay positive all the time. And especially yeah. because when 
I would see social media posts where they were like just being fake positive. Oh, yeah. fake, the fake motivation. That's it's 99% like, of it. What the fuck are we taking advice from you? Like, who, <laughs> yeah. who the fuck are you? You just copied that shit That's, from fucking Gary Vee. You don't have a job. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like those fucking millionaire posts, like, what do you think about this? Follow, copy, subscribe, blah, blah, buy my merch. Like, you're selling fucking merchandise. So, <laughs> we really going to take advice from you? You're, you're selling. Yeah. You're selling seats to listen to you say the same thing you just said on your yeah. fucking online post. You figured out the algorithm. <laughs> um, so because I would talk shit about false motivation, I would do like anti-motivation yep. or whatever. It was like people would Demotivation. Think, yeah. yeah. But it was just like a thing I'm doing. Just sell T-shirts, sell my merch, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, And it was effective. Um, but I was pointed out uh, – I, I pointed out – someone pointed out to me, um, a friend from Arkansas pointed out that – um, I always see the silver linings and things just because I was being positive in a really shitty situation. Yeah. And so I was like, this would be a good episode. Originally, I was going to come back and just get fucking hammered and then do silver. <laughs> but I was like, hey, do you want to do it with me? And we could fucking talk about silver lining type of situations. And so for me, I won't get into everything that I think is is awesome out of bad situations, but um, I was in Arkansas and Arizona – for two weeks, right? Like, so, well, not at the same time. I'm not a, sh- a fucking time traveler, but I went to Arizona cool. from Seattle to uh, Arkansas, and I was in both of those places, and uh, obviously, and I, I was coming home from from the trip, and things kept getting delayed because apparently hell cracked open and fucking it started freezing over in Arkansas everywhere. <laughs> snowing everywhere like there's snow all over the united states yeah. which in, in arkansas texas Florida. it's like they don't know how to prepare for they don't know how well, to they, deal with they never had to. with snow because there's no snow plows or anything it's kind of like western washington there's like three snow plows for fucking all of i5 yeah and it's like you feel by right now like they would have a few more but the trees and everything as you know they fucking explode when when yeah. uh, when they think about snow <laughs> yeah if they were conscious beings they would think about snow and go oh fuck and then <laughs> limbs falling off yeah ah. you know like that fucking like you think evergreens are super tall they're super strong no yeah. they're fucking weak little bitches and like the <laughs> you know before i left on that trip there was a little bit of wind and they fucking fell on my house <laughs> so like um but so they're not it's not like like even here, it's not built for snow. It was the last snowstorm before this shit last, last year. <laughs> it wasn't a very big. But it's one, not but that big. Like yeah, you'd... the last big one was probably three or four years ago. Yeah. So like they have to, uh, snow trucks, snow plows, but they don't. It's not like it's like an emergency all the time. It's yeah. kind of like how Arkansas. They, yeah, they don't go out and pre-dump some de-icer and some fucking salt yeah. on the roads because they're like, oh fuck, it's yeah. not gonna get that cold. And here, it's they can't do like they do in New York, where where I'm originally from, where they put salt and all kinds of shit oh, yeah. all over. Chemicals. Yeah, it's <laughs> chemicals, salt, fucking. Just as soon as the first flake goes, they just fucking tro- trucks going yeah. up and down the road doing that, and then and it dumps feet of snow. So it's kind of like they have to do that, yep. otherwise people are gonna be fucked, you know. They're buried, yeah. And I remember as like when I got my license. You're, I'm driving my Buick, my 1976 Buick Skylark through a fucking three feet of snow, yep. just bleep, with snow tires. And, that bitch. Yeah, man. that bitch was tough, dude. <laughs> and, uh, but in the South, they're not fucking, they're not, it's not designed for that. Like, they don't have a fucking infrastructure for combating snowstorms. Yeah. So while I was there, the, the day I was getting ready to leave on my fucking aerial plane, it it fucking started snowing and it was super cold like and so i got i got stuck there actually it was on the way out there was like this was the precursor that there was a lot of icing so we couldn't fly because we yeah. were flying on a an individual plane not a commercial plane and we couldn't get out there so i had to take a commercial jet out and then like on my way back so much snow so much weather i got st- i got delayed one day and then stuck in dallas the next day yeah and this is where the plot fucking thickens um so every flight gets canceled out of there. Every flight gets canceled because they can't even fucking do anything because there's they an inch of They probably don't even have a lot of de-icer at the airport. They did, but it's like there were so many planes trying to get de yeah. that only a couple got out. And then um, we were sitting we were, we were sitting on our plane and getting ready to go out, and there was just a massive line. We were on there for – we were sitting on in, at the gate – on the plane for three hours 
which by the way they're telling us to socially distance and sit down and shit it's like the whole plane is packed like we're sitting next to each other like what the fuck are you talking about and the other thing that fucking doesn't make sense about this and I know I'm trailing off but it's related (laughs) is this new new guidance about this mask shit and I was I was bitching about you guys because I'm like I'm wearing a fucking the neck gaiter which covers my shit up completely stopping the droplets yeah and who knows if it does it's all fucking it's all fucking science fiction at this point I think um so they go you can't wear that and that stewardess is like fucking yelling at me when I showed up like I had my dick out or something she's like what are you doing <laughs> put ah! that away and I was like why are you yelling like I was like why are you like yelling she's like you can't wear a handkerchief or something like that you can't wear a bandana I was like it's it's, a, it's not and she goes well that the new guidance says you have to wear this mask right here and I'll, I'll give you one and I was like Okay, what, like, why are you freaking out? Just tell me that, and I'll fucking go. Like, like I'm not doing anything wrong. Like, I didn't know. Yeah, you're not I didn't a goddamn terrorist. Yeah. Because <laughs> still, you can go to stores and whatever, and just wear yeah. the fucking neck gaiter, and you're fine. I do it at work. Yeah. Because I don't believe in the fucking thing. It's like if I get sick, big fucking deal. I'll get I'll get immunity from it, and I don't care. Like if yeah. I get sick, I I know enough people that. I know enough people that you're not going to visit people in nursing homes yeah. and all that shit. So you're not, not you're not trying of. to cause. I'm death. looking at them through the window. If you've heard my <laughs> OLP oh, yeah, story, I have, I have. fucking offshoot. I, I I look in those windows every time I drive that stretch, yeah. and I see people in them now, which is interesting. There's a few, but yeah. they also might be fucking robots. <laughs> That's gonna go in the story next too. All right, but you'll find out. And I don't. Spoiler alert. They're all, they all have alien DNA and they work for the mother fucking bug. I like it. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, So she gives me this fucking mask, one of those medical masks, Mm -hmm. and I put it on and it's just like so fucking loose. I'm like, this is better? Like I could breathe way better. And so like I was like happy to do it. I was like, man, fuck it, whatever. I should have been doing this a a long time now because sometimes it's like that mask, like fucking, it's hard to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. But it covers up everything. So, like, the whole thing is so illogical. All of it. It's just so illogical. Like, okay, this is better, but I, if I sneeze or cough, it's going everywhere. Next <laughs> yeah, to the fucking person absolutely. that's touching my shoulder right now. Yep. And so, dude, we're sitting on this fucking airplane for fucking three hours waiting for us to go. And they're, like, telling – they constantly tell us, like, we're waiting on de-icing or whatever. And we get – we get to that three hour mark order and they're like the pilots run out of time because they only have a certain amount of time yeah, to fly. Yeah, it's like truck drivers. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's 12 hours from what I know, but it's like you, it's like you need a 12 hour rest yeah, when you, for your next, next <clears throat> flight time for pilots. Yeah. So they, they tell us this and we're like, we're trying to get new pilots, whatever. And these pilots can't fly. We've passed our fucking window. Cause it's not that long of a flight. It's like four hours. So they would have been good, I guess, but they wouldn't be if they started at that point. So they're trying to get new pilots, but they're like, they figured out eventually they're like, we're going to offload the plane. Like, uh, it's not going to work. We're, you know, we check the fucking counter and see what it is. Um, and then everybody starts to stand up. And they're like, everybody needs to sit down. We need to socially distance. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> We've been on this plane for three hours. With three hours sitting next to each other. Everybody's coughing and sneezing and shit like that. And you're telling us to socially distance? That's not an existent. You're full <laughs> of shit. Yeah. And you make people wear these masks that you can totally breathe through. And it's fucking... You, it's, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. We need you to comply. Yeah. So I know this <laughs> doesn't sound like a, a silver lining. The silver lining of that part is I got off the fucking plane and I went, um, I got out of there because I like, you know, I, I've flown so much. I don't even know. It's probably thousands at this point over my lifetime that I, I am kind of numb to, to, I, it's kind I'm kind of numb to fucking, uh, flying at this point. Yeah. And I, I used to just fucking hate it. Every time I go, I'd be like, Oh God damn it. But now it's just like, I just go through the motions, put on a movie or whatever. And I fucking, I sleep. Um, so I get out to the fuck, I get out to the, I get out of the plane and then everybody's at the fucking, the customer service thing. And me being the genius I am, I go, I'm just going to call and reschedule because <laughs> what are they going to do different? So I did that, rescheduled my plane over the phone. It took fucking 10 minutes and found out I was flying out the next day. Um, And so because the snow is so intense, and I mean that in the fucking loosest way possible because yeah. it's not that intense. 
The only thing available is not Uber, nothing. There's just one taxi driver. And I managed to get it because they just shut. There was nobody on the streets. Like, it's like a dude from another state. He's like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a taxi. What up, bro? I take Dogecoin. <laughs> um, so he manages to drive me five miles, which, by the way, taxis are outrageously oh, priced. fuck yeah, they are. Outrageously. Like a Uber... Uber ride would have been like 15 bucks and that was fucking almost 50 bucks to Shit. fucking go five miles. It's insane. And he tell he's like, you know, the hotel has a shuttle, right? Like, I, yeah, you know what this fare is going to be? Like, he's even be like, he's, he's a like, cab driver, but like, he's being sure, like, Hey dude, dude like, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't like normally we rip people off that are, but he goes, you look kind of put together and like, <laughs> do you have Uber or something? And I go, all of it's closed, dude. I'm cool. Like, I'll just fucking run my car. We'll be good. I'll get paid. I'll get it paid back, yeah. you know? And so, um, like, I aside from this, the fucking hotel. I call him and be like, "Hey, I'm looking for availability." She's like, "No, no availability." And I called around and I called around, and all these hotels are booked out because everybody is fucking You're stuck. Everybody's stuck. There's thousands of fucking people all like booking hotels and like yeah. ah, they're all calling and shit. The line was like all the way down the terminal, all the fucking way down the terminal. And so I call this place. Eventually, I call this place and and say like, "Hey, is, do you have any availability?" And she's like, "Nope, we don't." And I go. Okay, so I went on the web on Expedia. I looked it up and I was like, it says there's four right here. So I called it back. Same chick. I was like, <laughs> I was like, hey, um, I'm looking on Expedia. I just talked to you on the phone. It says there's four avail- avail- four available rooms. Yeah. So she goes, oh, that must be a mistake. And she goes, where are you looking at on Expedia? And I go, on Expedia, like fucking on Expedia. What hotel do you work at? And so she goes, oh, that must be a mistake, whatever. So I go to the Marriott website. I fucking punch it in, book a room, and I like, yeah, I walked to the, I eventually walked to the place. I was like, hi, I just talked to you on the phone. Now I have a confirmation number. She's like, oh. I was like, cool. Can I have my keys, please? Um, so anyway, this long story is going to fucking summarize somehow. But stay there for the night. Think I'm not going to get out whatever because the shuttle wasn't running from there which by the way was the only hotel that didn't have a shuttle running this place was fucking like this Marriott suck cock it was like they were the laziest piece of shit ever well, obviously from the phone call and I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying not to be a dick I'm trying to just be because I don't go out and go like hey what the fuck you fucking said it was fucking booked you asshole <laughs> but I'm trying to just go I like on the way there I was like I'm gonna say something to him because like this is no way to be a customer service yeah. rep whatever but I didn't I just fucking bit my tongue and go hey what's I up I need to talk to Mr. Yeah. Marriott I wanna talk to your manager <laughs> and then that motherfucker would've been like I am the manager you know <laughs> get Mr. Marriott here he's like got the monocle um so yeah um it's just a shit show like I had to I didn't. There was no food. They didn't even give me my bag. I didn't have anything. So this is all like being a really shitty situation. Like I don't have any food. Um, I haven't eaten all day because I've been waiting for this plane. Yeah. Got kicked off. I I ate like a fucking power bar or something in the morning. Had a shit ton of caffeine some, per usual. Some synthetic beef. Yeah. <laughs> I got a 3D printer to shoot synthetic beef into my asshole. <laughs> Suppository. Like. Yeah. That's the next step with yeah. that shit is like just put no meat more pills in your asshole. No more eating synthetic beef. Now we're going to yeah. put it in your butthole. It's in, it's not environmentally safe to constantly shit as people. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's the next thing. It's like, well, we can't shit. <laughs> so you have to eat your own turds. We give you this special pill that enables you to get nutrition out of your asshole. <laughs> eating shit. Uh. So... So anyway, the next day comes. Eventually, I get so, I get like some fucking pop tarts or some shit out of the concession stand, which she almost didn't want to sell me because that would involve her doing work. So, I'm I I wake up the next day and um, the elevator's not even working. Fuck. Yeah, Fuck dude. That like, place, dude. It's all run down. She's like, yeah. I hope this place burns down. It looked as if they just <laughs> took this fucking janky ass abandoned mental institution and put a bunch of fucking wallpaper over everything. What if it was, dude? It felt like it. Um, there was some weird couch in there. Like they, the <laughs> thing I don't like about hotels, also, if I could talk about it, is they try to be so fucking creative sometimes. Like especially, it's like these dumpy yeah. ass hotels will be like a three, a three, two or three star hotel, and yeah. then they just put wallpaper and put all fucking weird Super sculptures weird. and shit. Like, fucking oh, we're artwork. five star. Look yeah. how fancy it is. We're gonna buy this artwork from these weird fucking people and yeah. just put it on the walls. <laughs> it's just like just fucking give me a nice bed with some fucking nice linen. And a fucking TV so I could watch South Park for 24 hours a day. I don't know if you watch Comedy Central, but they only <laughs> play South Park. That's all they play, which is time. this is dope because I like it. 
So the elevator doesn't work, and I go downstairs, and I already don't trust these people at all. But I'm not making a fuss about it. I'm just I'm self sufficient and I'm <coughs> self reliant. Yeah. Like I walked in fucking zero degree weather to the fucking gas station in a flannel t shirt and fucking pants, whatever. Flannel t shirt. Flannel shirt. <laughs> flannel t shirt would be weird. Cut off. Yeah. <laughs> flannel t shirt. Um, so I, you know, and I, I I don't trust her. I'm not taking a big deal because whatever. And I go, Hey, what kind of uh do, is the shuttle running? She's like, No, it's not. And I'm like, Okay. I was like, are there any taxis running right now? She goes, no. And I'm like, did you call or are you just saying that? She's like, no, we've had customer, we've had guests try to try to get taxis and they're not they're not running or whatever. I was like, okay, so I have an issue. I've got to be on a, a plane here in four hours. How am I supposed to get there? Like, do you have any yeah. idea? Because I already like called the taxi place. They were all busy and shit, so like they were yeah. probably bringing out the people because everybody's got kicked off the planes. Yep. And I already had a backup plan as far as everything. I was like, if I have to get out of here, because I got to get back and take care of shit, because, you know, I have a lot of changes coming up. I got to figure mm-hmm. out. So I have to be back and get into my routine and then fucking, uh, you know, just get back and get back uh, all together. So my backup plan was I'm going to run to the fucking airport. I'm going to fucking <laughs> go there. How many miles? Five miles. Nice. In fucking, I didn't know this till later, but at, after I got to the airport, it was six degrees at the airport. So it was much cooler because I started running at 7.30 or something like yeah. that. But I was like, it's one of those things I was putting put in a place where it's like, I could have just said, fuck it, I'm just going to get a, another hotel room, wait yeah. till tomorrow, wait till fucking... Th-. But it's like, how long does that go? This place is not built for that. So yeah. um, in my low quarter vans, you know, <laughs> like fucking <laughs> blue jeans nice. and a flannel <laughs> shirt... I had my backpack and luckily not my bag because I would have just said oh, fuck it all together. Yeah. Dragging it through the snow like <laughs> you ever go <laughs> fucking break. Yeah. You're God just dragging damn. it. Fuck. Yeah, like it's fifty pounds over my shoulder or some <laughs> shit. I would have been able to do it, but it would have been a fucking monster. Um so I already had this backup plan. Like this is my last fucking ditch. This is my bottom line. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna just get a room and say fuck it and yeah. whatever. So after all this, she's saying Hey, uh, no, no, there's nothing available, blah, blah. I was like, so you're telling me that I got to run five miles. Me knowing full well that I'm already going to do yeah. it. <laughs> I was like, you're telling me I'm going to run? I'm going to tell this bitch. <laughs> and she goes, oh, no, oh, no. And I'm like, I was like, you're going to make me run to the airport. <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, sir. Like, I put it on her or something. I was like, I was like, whatever. I just got to do what I got to do. Because I don't I don't fucking believe that. They don't give a fuck. They're just saying Lady, no. Lady, get your minivan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Meet me out front. Lupita, get your fucking minivan. <laughs> it's not that bad. Like, you, the roads were not that bad. They just didn't want to fucking do shit. Because, I like, you look at the staff and everything's open in the yeah. store. It's like, how did these fucking people get here? They yeah. weren't here last night. The fucking <laughs> breakfast bar is open. You're telling me you can't drive on a road? So, um, whatever. So, I, uh, I just looked at it like here's where the silver lining comes in. I was like, I'm fucked at this point if I want to get home. So I was like, you know what? I've, I've walked way further than this in cold ass oh, weather. Yeah. And I didn't know it was fucking less than six degrees. I didn't know it was fucking well, zero you didn't degrees. Have to tell yourself that either. <laughs> so I just fucking got <laughs> oh, it's a little chilly. I got my backpack on and just fucking headed out. Got my receipt. This is the other thing that pissed me off. <laughs> I said, <laughs> Uh, before I said this, I, was like, I didn't I, order that yeah, Cinemax. I yeah, <laughs> I didn't order those movies. <laughs> so um, I look at the, I, I you know I'm talking to her. I was like, hey, I got two things I need to check out, and then I need to check on fucking ground tra- transportation. So she gives me the whole thing, and we go through that whole thing I just yeah. talked about in, in length. And she at the end of it, she goes, okay, so you're all checked out. I go, you didn't ask for my hotel room number. How am I checked out? She goes. Uh, what room are you? And I was like, oh, fuck. you didn't even check. I was like, <laughs> I calmly said, I was like, so I'm pretty glad I just asked for my receipt because you didn't even check me out. She's like, oh, well, we do it automatically. And I'm like, no, you don't. Like, <laughs> I was like, so I was like, I really wasn't giving What kind of establishment are you yeah, running here? My brain was already like, you're fucked. So I wasn't like really, I was at a, like a last, like my brain was not in the mood of just like fucking going, fuck yeah. you. So she asked for my fucking uh, my room number, checked me out, and then I was like, "What is wrong with this fucking hotel? This is Hotel California. Like it feels <laughs> like like they're trying to keep me here so they can cons- consume my organs later or something." Um, so I fucking head out, and I just like 
ran through this fucking inch of snow, and I fucking or four inches at places in my fucking low quarter vans, which means something because I got did, could it, go get up frostbite. To, did it go up to your knees? Yeah, it was four feet <laughs> in length actually. Nice, nice callback, dude. <laughs> um, so I just head out and I like. Like a thing I would do back when I was in the military, if we were doing like long distance shit, yeah. like land nav, I would look at a certain distance and just go, I'm going to run to that and then take an easy break. And then yeah. then the next thing I'll just go fucking run if it's a timed event or whatever. So I did that while I was running. I was making excellent time, surprisingly enough. I was just fucking dude, crushing you got it. got a mission, dude. And I looked at it like, this is cold as fuck. So if I don't keep moving fast, I'm going to freeze. Your dick will fall off. Yeah. yeah. Which comes into play <laughs> next. That's the next thing I'm going to tell you. As I'm walking, my thighs, walking and running, my thighs are feeling like, oh, I didn't consider fucking frostbite. I didn't consider that at all. Yeah. I was just like, I'm a man. I'm going to fucking do this. I've done this before. But it's fucking cold out. <laughs> so I feel my legs like starting to become numb. Oh, and I shit. didn't think about my fucking, my Johnson at all. And I fucking go like, I wonder what that's like. And I go and fucking like. Why is it inside me right now? Give it a quick pinch. And it was like non-existent. It wasn't there. No, but it was like. Oh, this thing's numb too. So, like, at one point, and it was like tangling. <laughs> Fuck! I gotta ring. I gotta rub one out, dude. <laughs> yeah. At one point, I literally, out of self-preservation, I was like, "What if I get fucking frostbite <laughs> on my dick and they gotta cut this shit off? How would that fucking help me in the long run?" I had to, as I'm running through, and there's traffic too, and I'm running by these fucking <laughs> ah. cars. I got my hand in my fucking pants and I'm holding my dick as I'm running, dude. And I'm just like. It's it's tingling like it's getting there. It's getting the frost nip right, frost dick. And I'm like, dude, you got frost I, dips, yeah, man. Frost tip. <laughs> I was like, I could lose my dick in this whole fucking thing because I'm so much of a man. I'm gonna run and not just admit that I probably should stay at the hotel. <laughs> anyway, long story short, I get to the fucking help or get get to the fucking airport in time. And I didn't time it, but I got there before, like. Um, with the help of a nice uh, lat- Latino man that picked me up, which has nothing what to do with anything. Pal. He's just a person. He's a fucking nice gentleman. Did you get his name? I said, thanks, Henry. And I said, build the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, if we're built, if there's like, you know, <clears throat> if that man wasn't here, I wouldn't have gotten a ride because everybody's like, oh, COVID. Did he, did he speak English? He did. That would have sucked if he did. Yeah. He worked at the airport and he just saw me. He's like, dude, you can't be running this weather. And oddly <laughs> enough, everybody thinks that Washington's super cold. Because I was weird. talking to him, I was like, "Oh, it must be cold up there, huh?" Well, because they really. think of the north, but we're <laughs> west of the Cascades, so it's like, yeah, it was like fifty degrees or something <laughs> yesterday. I was walking around in a fucking t-shirt, yeah, in a flannel t-shirt, I had sunglasses on, <laughs> yeah. So it never gets cold here. Like I'm surprised it even snowed. You know, I mean, it, yeah, yeah, it gets it gets cold, cold but you know but what I mean. It's like cold. not like the rest of the co- like if yeah. you go to the east side of the, the yeah, it's not fuck, fucking it's not cold. the Dakotas cold. <laughs> yeah, it's not Montana. Um, so I made it there and then I had to run, like I was in this lengthy fucking line of just people because again, they Security rebooked line. Their, Yeah. <clears throat> and I got through it 10 minutes after my board time and I was fucking like, fuck. And I just started booking running, like hauling my ass. Yeah. And, um, and then, uh, I got to the gate in a panic sort of. And I handed <clears throat> my thing and she's like, can I get all this play right there? She's like, oh yeah, it's not leaving. I was like, you're, you're good. You're checked in and all that stuff. And we sat there for the rest of the day and eventually got out at 6 p.m. Fuck. The, the, but the biggest thing is you could you could take, if we're talking about Silver Linings, you could take any event and be like, fuck, this is fucking horrible. But I look at all of it. When it all boils down, there's a silver lining to anything. And what that silver lining is, two things. It's twofold. Because people like to say that twofold. I got a workout. I got a good workout and I haven't been able to work out in the past few months as much as I'd like. And also I have a story for the podcast that lasted fucking an hour. <laughs> so, you got to rub one out on the way. Yeah, and I got to hold my dick, which is something I strive for every day. <laughs> I didn't skip a beat. <laughs> nice. It's a good story. Good story. Yeah, yeah. I guess. So, and the the whole silver lining thing is like, you know, I don't I don't look at it like I I don't really think I look for the positive stuff, but I think out of like You know, I've had a lot of stress in my life. So lately, and I didn't notice this, like lately I have been looking at it that way because there's a lot of shitty situations where you could just submit to the chaos and whatever situation it is, but there's always something good out of it. Like even that that thing, while I was running, I was like, this is going to be a good fucking podcast story. Yeah. Even it might not be, but it was like, I was laughing along the way because I'm like, 
there was one point where I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, know, that that almost running? makes that almost makes. I'm going to use the example like when I was on the mountain on Mount Adams and yeah. I, I got stuck in that storm when I was going up to meet the climb team. Shout out to Tastev Climb. On the way up, I'm like, you know, starting out, I'm taking these pictures for the, you know, footage and stuff. It's going to be a good climb. Solo. All of a sudden, the weather fucking rolls in. Mountains create their own weather. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm, I, I'm equipped for it. You know, I, I, I'm experienced enough to know what I'm doing. I'm experienced enough to survive, but it turned out to be like 10 foot visibility <clears throat> going up a fucking mountain. I'm like, all right, so I could fucking die, but this will make a good fucking story. That's, <laughs> dude, that's, um, that's crazy. Like when you, cause I've thought that before. Yeah. I was like, what if, like, what if I made the biggest mistake? You and yeah. the, It's so, these little fucking errors that people make that lead to it. Like you could have turned back or whatever. Well, I could have turned back right when I but saw you kept clouds. pushing. Because you're determined. And yeah, and the, so that, that could have been the worst thing ever. What's you know? crazy is in my mind at that point, there was no panic either. So yeah. once I was in the storm, I was like, all right, well, here's my plan of attack. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm calm about it. I'm going to head up this direction, go this way, and I should be in the right area. So I'm fucking going for hours and hours just fucking climbing this mountain. I get to a point where like, okay, I know that my body's going to shut down by you know, all this fucking weather. <laughs> You're I need still to, calm. You're just like, I, I need might to, die at this I point. need to get behind some kind of barrier. So I find a rock outcrop and I'm like, okay, I know I got to be on the south side of this mountain because that's where the rock outcroppings are. So I get behind this rock and I'm like, oh, wow, that made a huge difference. There's no wind. I feel kind of warm right now. I eat a little bit of food, get some water in me, pull out more layers, put them on, warm myself up, rub one out real quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> Keep the dick warm. And then- start heading off again. I'm like, I got to make it. I got to get up there or else I don't want to die right here. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'd rather die up next to the tent, wherever they are. <laughs> so the people are telling stories about you, not fucking, yeah. you know, not like this so bitch I, died I, at the I, bottom of the hill. Yeah. So I keep He just going. curled up and died. I end up passing, it's not a good story. I end up passing lunch counter and I get to the other edge of the mountain. I'm like, holy shit, I overshot. So I know where I am now. I know where I am. I got to go up the mountain in this direction a little bit, probably 200 yards and I should make it to the right area because I know where they're camping. Still, it's 10 foot visibility, but I get up there. And I'm like, fuck, I'm going too much of an incline. Now I'm going up the rest of the mountain towards the summit. Yeah. I got to turn around and go straight down. <laughs> Fucking turn around. And it's still calm. Like, I've been up here for hours at this point. And they're probably like, oh shit, I hope he stayed at the car or he's dead. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck I'm it. coming down and I fucking run right into the tent. And I'm like, that is the coolest shit ever. I'm proud of myself. I get into the tent. And at that point is when I started shivering. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I then realized like, holy shit, I made it and I'm cold now. Yeah, yeah. I stripped down all my clothes in front of the dudes. I'm like, stop looking at my dick. Fucking threw on warm clothes, got my sleeping bag. And I'm like, uh, like is this know? what you wanted? I'd change right in front of but them. But like, even when I like open the tent window or the tent door thing, they're just like, holy fuck, you made it in this. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that was fucking amped. But it made a cool fucking story. Yeah, yeah. It was probably a dumb thing to do, but god damn it, I made it through that perseverance. And and like, yeah, super dangerous, right? Like yeah. you probably should have turned around. Absolutely. But um like the the sil what's the silver lining in that? Is that you have a story now and um and um like you personally I think that's that should be something to feel good about. And yeah. it te tested your strength and brawn Absolutely. and your fucking and my, fortitude. my ability when yeah. I'm out there in, in the wild. And that, you know? honestly, that builds confidence. So if it, like, exactly. it could suck, like you you thought you were going to be in trouble at one point, but it's yeah. like it built confidence in a way. Yeah. You're like, oh, I can, I handled that stupidly. I fucking handled <laughs> it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, I got through it. But, and I, I, I had the ability to do it. And I know it. Now I know that I can do that kind of thing, you know? You know and that's, that's not going to give me a false sense of confidence either. I know since I was through it, I know what to do better for the next time. Yeah, better prepare too, at Absolutely. least. It's not that you would go do that same shit again, yeah. but you might be better prepared but for I the next The next time move. I climbed a mountain, I had extra stuff that I knew I needed at that point in time. I yeah. was like, well, I'm going to fucking bring that next time. So yeah. I did. What's like your go-to survival thing? Like say you might encounter um, a snowstorm like that. Use that example. What is something that you would, like maybe a survivable type of thing, what would you bring again if you were... If you could go back, hindsight so, 2020. So something I did not have on that mountain that I bring each time now, I'm actually going to get a better pair, good snow gloves. Yeah. Your fucking hands are your tools. If you don't have use to your hands, if your fucking hands are cold, you're fucked. Yeah. 
You can't do anything. You can't open your fucking backpack. You can't pull the top off your water bottle. You can't do anything if your hands aren't fucking working. Yeah. You're screwed. So good insulated fucking outdoor research, big mittens, fucking something to keep your hands warm. That's most important. Do good you have, socks. So do you I, have, I have uh, good socks, like but. a reflective space blanket thing? I don't. No, I do I do have a survival in? kit, but I don't always bring okay. that because the area where I we feel like were, you can still freeze. I don't know. Yeah, yeah that reflective <laughs> I mean, you're wearing some fucking tinfoil. It's to know? give you it's, mental comfort so that yeah, you don't, yeah. you know. And it's highly reflective, so maybe somebody will see some shining light. Not through that storm. Fuck no. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hard some to keep on gloves, too. gloves for sure. And a lot of people are like, oh, why didn't you have a GPS? I'm like, I, through in my entire life, climbing mountains and going out in the wild and trying to get myself lost, I've never been lost. Clearly, I'm right here. Yeah. Um, I found my way out of every situation and I've never used a GPS. It's yeah. easy for me personally to be able to read terrain and and find my way back because I know the terrain. Ter- terrain association is a big, big thing for me. If you're going to be out in the wild, you have to have some kind of concept of, of terrain association. Yeah. If you can't do that and you're just staring at a little screen just telling you where to go, you're going to fucking not survive. Yeah. I've had that before when we were doing uh... – some long distance navigation mm-hmm. shit and we were like fuck this we gotta bail out it's too fucking hard and yeah. we were like GPS nearest road right there and it was more heinous than us going the five miles yeah. we were we were like oh this fucking roads this road will go to that and we'll then we'll walk the road yeah. to this section and just cause it was like so dark and there was snow we didn't know we were gonna fall through or whatever but I mean we, we wouldn't have but it's like what we had to cross the five miles was flat ground mm-hmm. and a and a trail and rock and shit like that. But what we did go over just because we were like, fuck this, we'll go a mile, you know, looking at a GPS, yeah. not relying on our fucking, our own intuition and, you know, knowledge of fucking survival and, yeah. and like land navigation, stuff like that. We went, we, ch- we fucking How took the easy road out. there six rivers in one mile? Yeah. <laughs> we took the easy road out using our GPS. We're just going to go walk this. And it got us into so much fucking trouble. Yeah. Just walking a straight line to where we looked on the map put in the coordinates and went, fuck it, we're going right there. Fuck this. We're going to walk on the yep. road over there. And um, and it got us into real, real fucking trouble. Like we, there was one point, there was myself and two other dudes. We were sitting there next to this fucking river because we were smoked. Like we were fucking smoked. Yeah. And I've never been that smoked on a fucking mile, like any mile or even <laughs> yeah. any long distance thing ever. Um, but we were fucking gassed. And we all, with our headlamps on, all of a sudden you see one go off, and then we're just falling. We've all fell asleep. Yeah. And because uh, we were so exhausted, but it was like, we, dude, like, that was one of the scariest things. Like, we were just like, we might not make it this fucking last <laughs> quarter mile. Like, we don't know what this, because, you know, Washington, some of the terrain is like fucking, we can't see cliffs. Yeah. We can't, you can only look at a map and see the draw lines and yep. whatever and the GPS. Like, that's topographic is yeah. shit on those things. Yeah. So having a, like, sticking to your base knowledge and like the fundamentals of navigation are huge. Like, you can, even if you don't have a fucking uh, GPS, you can get wherever you go. But yeah, silver linings, dude. Fuck yeah, you're a better person for it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, silver linings. <laughs> silver lining of the alien. Silver alien linings, dude. Let's uh, let's finish this off with this video, dude. Fuck yeah. So, um. Is this a popular thing, or was it just one comedian that was talking about? It? He did the recreation. it was just just one, just that one. I think it, this this video went viral that you're about to watch, and one comedian was just like, "Hey, I'm gonna reenact this just because it's funny." Yeah. So then it's it's going even bigger, which is awesome. So let me turn this up, and we're just gonna watch this and react to it, and then we'll put a video up. In the I, I the haven't table. seen this. I've only seen the, re- the reaction to it. So. Hello. We're going to talk about it as we go. My name is Lisa Ann White Whitmer Wagman. <laughs> White Whitmer Wagman? I just Wagman? moved here because I'm getting a divorce, and it's not final till September 18th. My husband will not really. give me any money. Not one penny. The lawyer won't help me. My husband won't help me. My dad, Marlon Lee Whitmer, How old is her dad? <laughs> won't help me. My stepmother won't help me. My mother passed away seven years ago, 
and my dad and Annie Hockhausen. Who the fuck is that? They wrote at Vera French that they both are my parents. Annie is my stepmom. I'm not Whoa. quite sure why <laughs> I'm here or what I'm doing, but there's a reason. Higher there power. is. Yeah. My lawyer is Justin Title. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. That sounds like a spoof, like just yeah. entitled. Just I'm entitled. moving down to Texas. He, he soon got his law degree at University of Phoenix online. The children in Texas. Dude, look at this guy in the background. I'm a very just like, loving fuck. parent. <laughs> very, very, very loving parent. I have a 20 year old daughter. She's going to college at St. Ambrose this fall. She's in Muscatine College right now. Her name's Brianna Elizabeth. Bless and her heart. She is she hot? Yeah. <laughs> 20 years old? Oh, so. Is not helping she me like, oh. because she's she looks 20. Like you. I'm not she's scared. She doesn't want her parents to separate or divorce. Feel bad for laughing at this uh, woman's pain. Man, we're yes. discussing the rezoning for the Portillos. Uh, Do you have any comments on so that? We're for discussing rezoning. We're for discussing what? the rezoning on Fifty Third for. Well, I live on Sixty Third. Again, we're here. It's to important. Hear comments She's about got about ten blocks down. Well, I don't like Facebook, and I don't <laughs> like dude, bro, the, the internet the dude, because like, I fuck. can't find a job. The so library blocked it. my password. Now tell me, does that make any sense it to doesn't. you? Nope. Not at all. Damn and that library. We're not here to discuss your personal life. I'm sorry. Do you have any comments about the rezoning? No, sir. Have Thank a good you. day. Thank you. Next. <laughs> then this Bless her heart. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her heart. Bless her heart. I... That's like on the she's on the edge of a mental breakdown, dude. She's uh yeah, I was saying when we were talking about originally, it's like she's gotten past panic. Yeah. And she came there and she's already breaking she's already mentally broke. Yeah. Like that's she's in such a bad way. It's like you wanna it's like maybe this is bullshit because like some some people just do that, but she's old as shit. So why is she around making viral videos? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um but yeah, it's yeah, like she's, she's not like that. She's past that. That Chad and JT part. Yeah, yeah. Chad goes deep, and they go in like the San Diego one, and they're just we want to open parties up, you know. Yeah. Talk about ragers and stuff. Went to this rager in high school. Yeah, it's not like those guys making viral videos. This is fucking. Yeah. This is a mental breakdown that we're laughing at, but it's kind of funny. I mean, she's we saying were, some some awkward shit. Yeah, that like. <clears throat> There's a lot. You ever watch those videos? I've seen a few of them, but not not. There's, there's a lot one, of good there's ones. There's one out that there. I sent you. That's it's it's not as like random and funny. It's more like it's about a dude's you know killing an animal and surviving, oh, and living yeah. off the land, and getting in trouble for. He's these are misdemeanors. Yeah, and he's like, I'm just living as a man should. And, <laughs> It's just really inspiring. Is that the word you were playing where he's like, no one should tell a man when to speak and when yeah, not to speak? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody should tell a living man when to speak. Sir, sir, we're here to talk about the new Chuck E. <laughs> Cheese coming into town. <laughs> but, yeah, it's it's always old people. Well, most of the time it's yeah. old, older people. But it's they're just gone, man. Something upstairs just clicks, and they're just like, I'm going to go to this town hall and express myself. When I don't know yeah. what the fuck they're Maybe talking Maybe she doesn't about. have dementia or some shit. It kind of seems like it's early onset dementia. <laughs> Diabetes. Um, but it's like just reaching out for help. It's like, I don't know what else to do. I'm going to fucking go to the scheduled town council meeting and be like, hey. Like, they're going to rezone something. What, yeah. what did he well, say? Well, I that, live on 63rd. We're going we're gonna to rezone the Portellas? What's a Portella? I don't even know what a Portella is. <laughs> fucking oddly enough. <laughs> Maybe that's the key that to up. the whole understanding of what happened. Portella. Portella. Look that shit up. Did it say what state that's in? Was that in Texas? Uh, I don't know. Portella. You could look at what college her daughter goes to. Can't be that one. <laughs> Portella Steel Doors. <laughs> Maybe it is for the this town hall. Portella Steel Doors and Windows. It's like, that's a business. Oh, well. Portella right, de Genestra Massacre. <laughs> 
Oh, That's shit. 11 people were killed and 27 wounded. What? Damn. Maybe it was after that fucking event. Yeah, I don't know what a fucking Portela is. I don't uh, know. It doesn't matter. Any of you Texans know what a Portela is, you let us know. <laughs> Yeehaw! All right, man. Are you making your fucking... <laughs> what are you going to say? I forgot what it's called now, but the butter. just. Oh, country cock. <laughs> You're making your country cock. I need to go make some country cock oh, right now. Oh, man. I'm going to put it on put my on pancakes. Wags, you. Put on some wag. <laughs> so don't, <laughs> what I'm saying is don't trust the butter in my house. <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, yeah. Fucking dope. We got a lot of, lot of shit accomplished. The world is different now. We made it better. There's we butterflies did. on the goddamn TV now. Behind me? Yeah. Right Watch now. out. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming on. Yeah. Man. Speaking of fucking country cock, thanks for coming on the episode. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Bye-bye. Catch you to <laughs>